Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a few really good Azami strats I've been using recently in my solo queue games. These are going to stall a lot of time for the attackers. You're going to be playing power spots. These are going to be for Chalet, which I'm on right now. That'll be the first one I go over. And then Villa, and then Cafe. So I'll be showing you three really good strats you can do. Very common maps to play, so these should help you in your games. I'm going to be playing a lot more Zombie in my videos for now on, I think. She has a really good solo queue operator, one of the best. Also, if you were wondering, I did set up the uh, site with all the reinforcements and stuff. You can set it up differently, but this is just the default setup that I like using, and it's pretty common stuff, honestly. So another just bonus tip before we get in. Break the glass off the windows. I've already done it, as you can see. When you break the glass off the windows, you can hear when they're repelling up easier. Same with the uh, library balcony. I've already done it for these windows. At least do it for one of them. Just a thing that a lot of people don't do, honestly. But you're going to be playing right here in the mezzanine. This is going to be a very huge power spot because attackers like to repel up here, hold angles on it. They like to go on the actual balcony itself. They like to attack library, so you can hold library from here behind this reinforcement. Obviously, you want to reinforce the single wall that I've done. Make head holes here. You can actually get a pixel on the window right here. I've got a few one taps just, just holding that angle. You could also reinforce the side if you want, but this one's better because now you can play behind this thing and be safe from the window. The only way they can really get you out of here is if you don't have like ADSs or OMIs or anything and they grenade you from the window, which is decently common in the super high levels of play, but not really in ranked. I don't get real, like grenaded from that as much unless you're playing like a five stack. That's really good. And another spot they like going to is right here on this. This is called Slant. The attackers will just go here and hold an angle from the roof. They can see all the way in here. Very good angle as well. Just a bonus tip if you're on attack, you can hold that. So this cuts that off. That's why your first is on me. You're going to want to put that right here. And now you're safe from that angle. You don't have to worry about that. I'm going to be showing you three barrier spots. And of course you have five barriers total. So the uh, last two are just going to be to replace any breaks. So like if this one gets broken, then put it there. The next one, this is going to be like the main one for the library hold. Put it right here like that. I would only put this here if you know they're pushing from library side, which is pretty common. They're usually going to. But if you know they're not taking this and they're going for like a solar push, don't even put the Sazami here. That's why I put this one first. Usually they're always going to be on this window regardless of where they take. At least on the balcony out there. So this one's going to be better. But if you know they're not taking that at all, I would not put the library one first. I would put that one last, honestly. Like right when they're getting up and breaking the window, you can just throw it on there. And the uh, last barrier is going to go right here on the balcony. You want to put anywhere on this railing in the middle. That way you can just play it here on the balcony a little bit more safely when you're behind this one. You don't have to worry about getting like wall bang from this window. And you can uh, peek anybody that's trying to push from downstairs. Come with some really good angles on that, like this. Or like this. And they don't know which side you're going to be peeking. And again, like I said, they can break these from the windows, obviously. That's why you can just throw another if it gets broken. Say this gets destroyed. I don't know why I'm showing you. Obviously, you know how in the zombie breaks. You can just throw another one like that. You can also do it very quickly. You can just come around the corner like that. And throw it like that. And there you go. You're set. And you can just come around here, peek this side. Just get some quick peeks in. Just watch out for grenades, like I said. That's why I play a little bit farther back on it. But you can get up and get aggressive if you know they don't have grenades or something. Shoot their drones. Just waste all of their time, and you will be set. This is a really good hold to do. They could also go for the hard breach on this, so that's really good for the Sazami. You can go on this side and just shoot it off wherever they put it. And again, you can just swing the window here. Just try to waste as much time on the attack as possible. Also, if you see at the start of the round, if they're not even pushing this, they're just basically countering the strat. Again, like I said, you should have only thrown like this barrier at that point when you notice they're not pushing. If you've thrown two, that's fine too. You still have three more. You can just rotate off and you can start playing in piano or the back side here in the master bedroom side. This is how you should set this up, by the way. You should make foot holes here or head holes. It's up to you, really. Same with this wall here on the office side. I just do head holes here, but foot holes honestly are good too. And you can even do the other side if you need to. It's up to you at the end of the day. 
I just wouldn't recommend reinforcing it all off. That just gives them too much control in this meta. Um, but yeah, that's a good setup there. For these windows, you can put like an Azami here. Right in the edge of this. That's a good one to do. These are just bonus ones. This isn't really the strat. You could also just keep throwing them at this window. They like breaking that if they're going for a solar take. You can throw one here. So you can be protected from the big window. People like repelling on that. You can even throw one on the... Uh, this thing right here so you can rotate in here safely. That's why I like doing this rotate too. You can completely get in without being exposed from the balcony. Some people like the rotate here, but I just prefer this one. You can open head holes here though still. You you can do a lot too with a zombie because you have the deagle. Like I made all the setup myself with the head holes and everything. And it's pretty quick too, just to make a few holes in the wall for head holes. But anyways, I've been rambling on about this zombie strat. Let me go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, so I'm here on Villa now. Also, I just wanted to say, I also set up this site, but I wanted to say with the impact grenades, you don't have to make the rotates, obviously, or like set up every single wall on the site like I've been doing. I'm just showing you for examples like what the site probably will look like if you're in a higher level game. And uh, you can make the impacts if you do need with a zombie. You can still make rotates with her. But you'd prefer to save them for any like Oso you see later on or a shield or... Anything really with the impacts, just to throw at them if you need. For a plant or whatever. You know, any, anything really. But yeah, you want head holes right here on this. This is very important. You can make these with the deagle like I did. Just ignore how mad I am. I was shooting a little bit too much in the prep phase. But don't worry about it. So first the zombie right here, you want to put this one first. They're usually always going to attack on the balcony. So this will protect you from the uh, doorway so you can peek. Just like that. You can peek either side of it. This is going to be a really good one. You can replace this multiple times. You can probably use three on this alone if you want to. Obviously, you have this window here. I would shoot the glass. You don't need to. You can probably hear them on the balcony still. But now you can hear them right when they try to break this. And if they do, just throw in a zombie here too. And just protect yourself with that. And just keep playing aggressive on that door. But the other zombie spots, I like doing one right on top of the door here, the lowest spot, just like that. This will get you a really tight angle here, and that's very good to have. And then you can throw one on the end right here too. I think it's somewhere around like here. Yeah, that's good there. And now you can get a really tight angle deep into that angle there, and from the left side of the door, and the right side of the door. And they're never going to shoot you off that. And you're protected from the window, obviously, to play in this spot. And you can even pick this if they're coming from study balcony instead. This is zombie strat's really good for either push that they do. If they're taking like full map control on the master side, that'll be good for that. And if they're just doing the default study take, it'll be good for that. And they're going to have to go through a lot of zombie barriers, especially if you have a Jaeger or a Walmai helping you out. This is mainly what I use in solo queue, but if you have a team to do this with, just put some ADSs right here on this. Because obviously they're not going to shoot it from there. So just put them right here on the door. Maybe even like, I don't know, put one in this corner here so they can't get it from the window either. You can also play in main stairs here. Have another team member just play in this area to help you on the balcony. There's no way they're getting through here if somebody's playing main stairs and watching that from the bottom. And then you're having your zombie play behind these barriers here in this aviator door power spot. And on top of all that, they have to worry about the head holes here. Like, imagine if you have, like, a Warren or a Thorn 1.5 peeking this. And just swinging over and over. It's so good. And you can even have a guy with a C4 come up here to the Azami, like, right here close. I like doing this a lot. And just throw in a C4 out there. I love doing that. But, yeah, these are going to get you a lot of free kills, trust me. It's just such a nasty angle to peek, and they have to go right up to the door if they want to get rid of this one. They have to go right up next to it, like right here, or right here, and they have to worry about all the angles in the site. Like, say, if you're just prone playing behind this couch, and they go up to the right side, you're going to get a free kill. And if you're playing on this side, you're going to get a free kill, too. Like, it's so hard to get rid of this strat. And for what they see, if they're at the end of this hall, you've seen what I was doing there. They see, like, that. 
Like that'll be what they see. That'll take them so long and they're usually going to be standing up like this when they come around the corner. Like that. And if they crouch down, they're not going to see you right away coming from this side. And you're going to see them a lot quicker. It's just a lot easier fight for you. And obviously you don't have to use this one until they actually break the window and threaten this. So if they don't, you can keep that one in pocket. You'll still have two left over to replace on that. On this. On this again. On that again. Like whatever you need really. A zombie's so good. So, so good if you use it right. And it's pretty hard to use it wrong, honestly. And just another tip, if they end up pushing the backside, you can even save your zombies here and throw them, like, right up here. Like that, so they can't wall bang through this, and they can only go foot level. And if they have to go foot level, you can just hold the angle on them, and they're going to have to prone peek into it, and that's going to be impossible for them to win. That's why you want to put full holes here. I would have made more if I have... More deagle ammo, but I used too much on the uh, one holes on accident. I did not have to either. You can make those without using all of your ammo. But yeah, if you have uh, foes here, it's going to be a lot harder for the attackers to push this. This is just default stuff at the higher levels, but very good stuff. I see a lot of players either reinforce both these off in my games for some reason. Or just reinforce none of them. And I don't understand. Some Sometimes even I see them reinforcing this one and not this one. Or... They reinforce this one and not this one. I don't understand. It used to be a good strategy to have like a rotate here, but I just recommend doing this. And you can drop back to sight if you need to from the main stairs position. Enough rambling again about that. I'm going to go on to the next map now. Okay, so I'm on cafe now. This is going to be for the top floor. Also, all three of these strats are going to be for the most popular sites on each given map. So that's another thing for you. But first of all, before we start the setup, I want to go over this wall. You can either reinforce this if you'd like, but what I like doing is putting footholds in it. Because, I mean, usually they're going to open it either way if it's reinforced. They can just repel here and get anything off if there's a mute or a bandit or anything. So just make footholds on this. Again, I'm out of deagle ammo. I made all the head holes and stuff. I like making head holes on this wall. This is a really good strat. Footholds here. So that way, since you're playing in piano, you can actually... Well, if you break this, first of all, you have more room over here, by the way, if you didn't know. But you can prone down right here and deny the... Let me get my gun out. You can deny the default plants and the push-up from the new hatch over there. So this is going to be a very good spot to play late in the round if you still have control of piano. And Christmas. People will call this uh, Christmas. This is stage up here. Just like that. And you can see your holes a little bit. Maybe get a lucky wall bang off that. Those are good holes to watch. Just be careful. They can obviously see you're holding that. It's very easy to see on that surface. So, first to zombie spot, though, I always do this one first. Because it is common for an attacker to repel up on this window also. Like I said before, shoot the glass, now you can hear them repel easy. Even if you're, like, over here, you're going to hear that repel cue every single time. Or an Omru into some random window. That's why I always break the glass and everything. But, yeah, you want to break that. Put your first zombie right here on the end of the railing. And now you can safely... Rotate in and out to the white hallway without having to worry about somebody peeking that. Also, I'd recommend bringing barbed wire on a zombie if your teammates have the rotates and everything made. But sometimes in solo key, you need the impacts just to make them yourselves. I would put barb here in the middle and then some lower. People love coming up white stairs. It's one of the more popular takes in ranked. It's not very good, but it does work in ranked since nobody knows how to defend the site. The site isn't the best either, in my opinion, but that's a different point. So that's going to be your first barrier. That's a little bit off-site, but it's for your rotate off. First, you're going to be playing in piano itself. That's going to be your first position. Second of all, you're going to drop off to here later on if you need to. If they're taking it really hard on the wall, if they breach it, if they're pushing it from the hatch, if they get the windows, you're going to want to fall back here and play pixel spot. And that's why this zombie is going to come in handy a lot. I was just trying to show you guys how important that one is first. And it could save your teammates from getting picked off from that window repel. Not even just you. So your second is zombie barrier. I'd recommend putting this one right here. Because again, you're going to be playing deep and piano first. That's going to be your first spot. The left of it like that. And you can also peek to the right of it like that. And since they're probably going to be going for piano, if they don't go in the windows, you can literally just play here all day. Again, break the glass so you can actually hear the repels up. And if you hear the repels, I'd recommend probably getting off and maybe dropping back to this position. And then that's where your next zombie is going to go, like right here in the middle. 
So now you're safe from these. You can still hold an angle on a jump in if you need to. You can't quite get around. If you put it to the right more, you can probably hold the window from the very corner if you need to. But this way you're safe from it. So you can go as far back as you want and hold that. And you're safe from the windows now. And that's where the next zombie is going to come in. I like putting one right at the bottom here of this doorway. Okay, nice. I did that perfectly. If you get it right, you can get some very tight angles into the doorway from the red stairs. Just like that. You might think this isn't the best angle to hold, but it makes them obviously have to craft the door if they haven't broken it yet with an ash or Zophia or whatever. But when they challenge us, they're going to be challenging head height, obviously. They're a lot faster, so they're going to be peeking like that. They're going to be checking that angle. They can't even see you back there holding that angle if they're standing. So it's going to be really, really good. You can see all my shots were going like right here. So you're just going to destroy them every time they swing this. It's going to be a free kill for you. They have to go this deep to see where you're... And you're going to kill them by that point if you're watching this, right? Otherwise, they have to crouch and they can barely see you back there, but they have to crouch into your shots and you should be holding the angle already and they're going to be going very slow ADS while crouched. So it should be a freebie for you. Very nice zombie barrier. I like doing It's kind of like a pseudo castle in a way when you put it like that, which I do like. Castle is very strong on the site too. Maybe I should do some castle strat videos for you guys. Leave a like if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Tell me in the comments what you want to see. I want to get into doing these like strat videos. They're really fun to me. Especially like solo IQ strats I like doing. Give me a lot of wins. But okay, last is zombie barrier. This is going to be if they like break all of your utility. This is a lot of utility for them to break too. Probably not going to happen in ranked. If they even push all this. But say they got the wall. They're on the windows. They start rappelling in. You've given this up. You're already in pixel spot or whatever. You can go back here. Put your last zombie right here at the bottom. And this is going to be completely safe. They can't shoot you through it. And you can just peek up and take shots at them from the left or the right. I'm not putting it down because you can also put one here. Okay, good. I got it right. If you put it right on the top of the chair, now you're safe from the window from this angle too. And you can watch this one. So you can just watch this window and not have to worry about ticket window. And if you want, you could also put in a zombie on ticket itself, like right there instead. But this one helps you from multiple angles, so I think it's a little bit better. Because now you're safe from that window. And you're safe from anybody that's already, like, walked up in past ticket. And you can just swing them as well. And this gives you a really nice angle here. Like a very good pixel. That they will not be expecting you to be holding. A lot of free kills like that. But I really like doing this Azami setup. You have so many layers on it, and that's what you want in solo queue especially. So you have multiple drop back routes to get back to site if you need to. And you still have this as your last defense, so you can safely rotate back in. Just another bonus tip before I end it. You should probably make some holes in the bar with your deagle too if you have any shots left. And if you're not solo, just get your teammates too. If you make holes across all this, it's going to be harder than the plant there. This is like one of the default plant spots, which is why you made the deagle holes. Let me show you where you can see that. I have no ammo left. I've been shooting and shooting. That'd be the default right there. So you can go up, shoot it from right there. I can't shoot it and make a hole, obviously, but... Just know that's where the default is right there, so you can wall bang it if you're behind this zombie barrier light. That's going to do it for this video, though, guys. I hope you enjoy these zombie strats. These are some really, really good ones. I like doing these a lot. Again, leave a like if you want to see maybe more zombie strat videos. Maybe I can do the rest of the ranked maps. I can do three per video just like this one. I feel like this was a really good lengthy one to show you guys some strats. But subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.